All right, so in this video, I'll be talking about the user output uh, in Epson RC Plus software for Epson Ro Robot. Uh, in here, these outputs are extra outputs that you can use, you can define to use them uh, with your default outputs uh, for a specific condition. So uh, to do that, so under in the system configuration, and here you have to be connected to a robot or virtual robot. I'm connected to a virtual robot, uh, not to a real robot. So under user outputs, you add, you change the name, whatever you want. I'll leave it user output one. You select here, what do you want this output to be level, uh, normal output uh, or pulse output or latch output. And also, do you want it to turn on or to turn off when the when your condition is true? So in my love, in my case, I'm, I will. It's gonna be a normal output coil, normal coil output, and uh, turn on when my condition is on. Condition, you can put any condition you want. Uh, monitor the position of the robot. Monitor an input signal, uh, or monitor uh, any 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 signal in your uh, internal signal in your program. So for example, right now. We're going to monitor uh, input number one, for example. Input number one equal on and W2 equal off. So when my first input is on and my second input is off, the user output one <coughs> should turn on apply now it saves it and I'm gonna add another one when the first the same thing when my first input is off and second input off two when both of them off turn user output two on and that's uh, um, and that's so I have these two now. Before I close, I have to set an output number for these two uh, user outputs. So to do that, I go to the outputs, the default outputs here, and right, right here, like, but before the alarms, right before the alarms here, you choose an output number for the user output one and user output two. The first one available is eight, and the second one available is nine. So now my real uh, bit number eight and output bit number eight and output bit number nine <coughs> are these my user output one and two. Apply and close. It's gonna restart the controller. Here you go. So now if I go to my IO monitor, I see those number eight and nine are my user output one and two. So I said number, my user output one should turn on if my first input is on and my second input is off. But because both of them off, one and two are off, so no, uh, user output one didn't turn on. The other, the second condition was if my input number one and input number two both off, then turn on. And here we go, it's on because both of them off. So to do another example, <coughs> system configuration control. This first before we do that, let's open the. Uh, robot manager and let's see the position of uh, our axes uh, okay. here it says that my motor should turn on so uh, right now for example let's look at uh, uh, let's look at uh, position of our uh, 
J3, it's 4640 in bolts. So let's monitor this position and make a condition for whenever the position for J3 goes over 5000, <clears throat> I want this input number one to turn on, or we can say another, we can create a third one. I want it to turn on when uh, J3, posi J3 position go over 5000. So controller, remote, user output, we can add one, number three, and we're gonna say in bolts, PLS in bolts, J number three, if it's greater than 4000, I want it to turn on. Or we can, and, and just to show active low, I will say turn it off if it's greater than 4000. So when I apply this and uh, save it, and, uh, and also assign output uh, number 10 to user output 3, I should see this on since it's less than 5,000. Oh, let's say 5,000. Or we can leave it for this fine. Okay, so uh, so it's going to turn. Uh, I have active low. So if it is less than 5,000, then it will turn on. If it's greater than 5,000, then it will turn off. And that's because I'm flipping it with active low. So let's go first and assign an output for this one. Uh, right here, user output three, assign number 10 to it, apply, close. And since it restart the controller, then I have to turn the motor again. And now let's turn this open the I.O. here. We have number 10. There you go. It's on because it's less than 5,000. And now when I go over, it turn off. It's less than 5,000, it turn on more than 5,000, it turn off. And that's the condition right here. Right now it's over, bigger than 5,000. So this condition, it is true. It's bigger than 5,000, so give me, so turn off since it's bigger than 5000 so this means it turn it off and here we go it's off if i would click this one it will be the opposite uh, it will turn on if it's bigger than 5000 5000 and turn off if it's less than 5000 so apply close <clears throat> i switch this to active when it's high And I have to turn the motor on. And here. And here, here you go. Like, so it's, if it's more than 5,000 now, it's going to turn on. There you go. Turn on when it's higher than 5,000 and turn off when it's less than 5,000. And that's for the user output and how to use them. And uh, you can do all different, all complicated equations uh, with them, not just uh, simple equations. You can. Uh, put more than monitor more than uh, join monitor monitor more than axis monitor the whole the six axes in one time and uh, You make your own equation and you put it in the remote control user output and uh, You create your own bits and that's it